Anyway, so I just thought I would give you guys a quick, a quick haul video of what I get at the grocery store from there. I'm at 10 weeks out. I think I said that. Tomorrow will be nine weeks out. Anyways, so if you're interested to see what I buy at Walmart, stay tuned. Oh, and my drink this morning, it looks kind of gross, I think. Anyways, this is about 16 ounces of water, one scoop of Cellucor HD, one scoop of BCAAs by Cellucor. I use the Tropical Punch. About a fourth, eighth to a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar, and then one squirt of this pink lemonade. I don't know, I like it. On days when I need to do my fasted cardio, that's what I do. So, yeah, stay tuned, here we go. All right, so let's start with the best is my carb source. So I picked up this Sara Lee 45 Cal Delightful Bread. The macros on this are awesome. You get two slices for one gram of fat, 18 grams of carb, and 90 calories. So if you like the Lenny and Larry's, oh, and protein, I'm sorry, six grams of protein. Hello, that's awesome. So if you like Lenny and Larry's bars, which I do, but they're dense, they're small, you don't get a ton of them. So this is what I'm gonna make my French toast with in the morning. I'll make a meal prep video on that to show you. On my high carb days, my coach recommends that I get these. Um, these are pretty awesome. It's similar macros, I guess I'd say, for 45 cal for one cake, eight gram of carb, one gram of protein. So this has 14 servings in it. So you could literally eat this whole container for seven grams of fat and seven grams of protein. I can't do the, what is that? Yeah, so see, that's a really good, like if you're going to the movie, movies and you wanna eat something or you just have the munchies, like that's a really good. The chocolate ones are really good. They have little bits of chocolate chips inside of them. I went ahead and grabbed the pre-chopped red onion and. Uh, the white onion, or I'm sorry, yellow onion. I went ahead and grabbed the these because it just saves the, it saves me from having to chop it and so meal prep goes just much smoother. I am gonna have green beans. I kinda toggle between broccoli and green beans and I really liked my tilapia that I had last week with green beans. It was actually really tasty with the jalapeno salt on it. So I went ahead and got these. I also got one sweet potato. I'm gonna be making a um, some chicken meatballs with that. If you, if I've ever sent you some protein recipes, you know which one I'm talking about there. Now, I've never bought this brand, so the jury's still out. Once I make it and cook it, I will let you know if I give it two thumbs up or not. But the macros are really good um, on this one. 100, gram, or 100 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein for four ounces. It's actually less protein than the Target version, but this is way cheaper because this is a two pound bag. Now, everyone knows I love Jenny O. My coach has been using this, which is 97% fat free. The macros on this, 140 calories, three grams of fat, 26 grams of protein. So honestly, it's really similar to Ginny O, but it has just a little bit more fat. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a little bit moister than the Ginny O Extra Lean. The Ginny O is 99% fat free. This was about the same price. It might've been a few cents cheaper. Let me see how many ounces is that? Where's the ounces? Uh, 20 ounces, the same amount. Um, but we'll see. So I'll let you know what I think about these. Everyone knows these are my favorite. I'm gonna have that with my potatoes. I'm also gonna use these to make my protein French toast. And if I make pancakes, I use those to make pancakes. I'm gonna make a blue cheese chicken. I have a friend who made me a blue cheese and rice chicken dish when I was on maternity, or yeah, maternity leave with my first kid. I've got the recipe. This is way healthier than what she uses. I think she uses the Marie blue cheese, which is amazing, but on prep, I just can't afford that sort of macro. So I'm gonna try this. People have given this um, good reviews. So you can see the macros on that. Two grams protein, one gram carb, 2.5 gram fat, and this has 14 calories. So I need to figure out, I might not be able to use the whole thing, but um, we'll see. 
this is my favorite peanut butter right now. Oh man. So Skippy has a new one that's like salted caramel. Didn't like it. Um, this is so much better. Now, the Justin's Maple Almond Butter is my favorite to put on Quest Bars, but that's super expensive. This is like $3 where the Justin Maple Almond Butter is like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Okay, this is one of my desserts. So the macros on this for two tablespoons is five grams, zero gram fat, one gram of carb, zero gram protein. You're gonna have to watch my meal prep video to see what I do with this. It's yummy. Um, I went ahead and bought the reduced sugar ketchup. This will go on my eggs. I really enjoy these, which are, they're a little bit of caffeine. There's really nothing to them. I normally have these on the weekends, like if I'm hanging out by the pool or doing yard work or something. I just like them. Hansen's are my favorite sparkling waters, but they're kind of hard to find and they're kind of expensive. Um, Sprouts has the best price on them. So if you don't have a Sprouts, this is my next thing to recommend. This is the Walmart version. I've had the pineapple coconut. I don't like it nearly as much, but my kids or my husband likes them. This one is really, really good. It's similar to the Diet Black Cherry and the Hansen. And I want to say this whole thing was like $3, where a Hansen, it's typically the cheapest you can find it is $3 for six. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show someone sitting outside of my house. Hi, with a big trailer. Um, I'm going to show you what my what I have for my kids. Okay, so this is the, I'm sure you guys have seen these. You just boil them like pasta. But the macros on these aren't bad. So I'm not trying to like prep my, um, do a bikini prep for my kids or anything. But 16 grams of protein is pretty dang good for one cup. I don't monitor their, their carbs or their fat. I typically just let them um, eat and choose. But I have noticed that they don't get nearly enough protein. So I try to buy stuff that they like that I think has adequate protein in it just so they have a well-balanced diet. Um, I tend, they tend to eat, if I had to guess, it'd say it's 40% carb, um, probably 40% fat, 20% protein. So I'm trying to change that to a 40, 30, 30. Um, but again, they're kids, so I don't really think about these proteins, the, these proteins, these bagels have four grams of protein in them. Again, I don't really track anything for my kids as far as carbs or fats. That's that. I'm gonna make some little sausage, um, like biscuits things for both my husband and my kids. So this is just to help get them to eat different things. Uh, I found this reduced fat pork. Let's see the macros on that. It, look how much. Reduced fat was 20 grams of fat, but 21 grams of protein. So that was good. I'm gonna mix that with some of the turkey, ground turkey and make some little chorizo biscuits with roasted apples. I got these because um, my little girl can, uh, my kindergartner can take milk to school now, and these don't have to stay refrigerated. Um, so you can just keep them in the counter. I'm gonna refrigerate them, but then I won't worry too much if they're just sitting in her lunchbox without it. Um, this is the milk we buy. Um, it's just the one we like the best. Um, I got these because, like I said, my kids have a hard time eating protein, so they're frozen. If you have kids, you probably know what this movie is. Um, the macros on that are pretty good. 15 grams of protein for four nuggets. Then I got the string cheese because it's got Elsa on it. So maybe they'll eat cheese and get dairy that way. Let's see, six grams of protein. Now this was the hidden gem. I think someone's about to ring my doorbell, so I apologize. These Lunchables have 15 grams of protein. Did y'all know that? Isn't that cool? So we're gonna try these. I also got some apples and bananas. I better go see who that is, so I will be right back. That was um, the irrigation guy coming to fix our sprinkler system. So if you're not familiar, or if I haven't told you, they've installed a sidewalk out on our side lawn because we are right on a busy street and I've been wondering what they're gonna do because we had a sprinkler system there and it's not working, but anyway, so he's coming to fix that, so he just needed access into the gate. So anyways, that's what we're doing there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, I'm sorry, I just scratched myself. If you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, make it a good week, guys, and watch my meal prep video for 10 weeks, or nine weeks out. Okay, bye.